night's concert is a celebration of music of Christmas in all its sacred and secular facets. Over the centuries, Christendom's happy midwinter holiday has been celebrated and inspired by a great many music, musical composers from many different countries. Tonight, KBVR-TV presents A Family Christmas with the Oregon State University Choir and the Oregon State University and, and Corvallis Symphony. I'm Drew Warninghoff, and I'll be your host for the next two hours, where we'll see music in the finest of tradition, in music, straight and forward, for you to sit back and enjoy. Let's let sit back, and in a few moments, we'll come to that. spend a lot of time hanging around the Christmas tree and telling stories about the old country. My grandmother was from Spain and I really enjoyed that time and I was only about five years old so some of the memories are a bit dim but I always will remember that. Hi, I'm Paul Castro. I produce and direct some programs on KBVR. I would like to tell you that uh, I've had a lot of nice Christmases but uh, the, the one I'm going to remember this year is, uh, well, this year's, because my mom won't be here. She's in Mexico, and we'll have to spend Christmas without her. But I know that wherever she's at, she's thinking about us. So, Feliz Navidad. Hi, my name is Kim Gown, and I'm the Promotions Director at KBBR-TV. One of my fondest memories of Christmas is one year, it was the only year that our family had ever gone out to get a Christmas tree out in the woods. and. We went out in the woods and we all were picking our tree. I have three sisters and we were all we all wanted a different tree, but my dad picked the one that I liked. And when we got home, we stuck the, um, we have a high ceiling um, house, but when we got in, the tree wouldn't fit. And my dad chopped off the top instead of the bottom. <laughs> so our Christmas, instead of looking like this, it was kind of like this, our Christmas tree. And it was really funny, and we tease, tease him about it all the time now, but it was really funny, because one of my favorite parts of Christmas is the Christmas tree, decorating and stuff. Hi, I'm Kevin Tokes, I'm production manager here at KBVR. And I, I remember around Christmas time, snow days, and getting out of school, and not having much to do, and just going out and playing, and, and teaching my dog to fetch snowballs. One. Okay, one Christmas I overslept, and uh, Mom woke me up late, and everybody had opened up their presents, so uh, I was kind of the sad child of the, of the family. But I got all my presents later. Hi, I'm Jeff Curtin. I'm remote producer here at KBVR. And my fondest Christmas memory is uh, when my grandma, who lives in Arizona, came up to visit us once in Portland. And uh, we live on this pretty steep hill, and it was all icy. And we had to park the car at the top of the hill, and my brother and I, we were about 10 years old, and we were walking my grandma down the street. And she, she had gotten off into the middle of the street, and her feet had gotten out from under her. She started sliding away, and is, looked over my little brother, and he was just waving. He was going, Grandma, where are you going? Grandma! And we, she just went on down the hill. Hi, I'm Lisa Kearney, and I'm the intern for the promotions director. My favorite thing about Christmas is snow. I love snow, I love everything about snow, and I love to go skiing over Christmas break. So I can't wait to go skiing this year. So have a good Christmas, bye. Brought to you live from LaSalle Stewart Center, we at KBVR TV are bringing you a family Christmas. A variety of pieces arranged by Katherine Olson and Hernan Constantino, the music and choir directors at Oregon State University. I'm Drew Warninghoff, and I'll be your host for this evening. For the next two and a half hours or so, we'll bring you a, a, this special evening of a family Christmas tradition. Pieces brought to you by, with the Fantasia of Christmas Carols by Ralph Vaughan Williams, the special symphony, simple symphony by Benjamin Britten, and the Magnificat by Charles Theodore Pachevel. Tonight is the 83rd tradition, 83rd annual a time that will bring you the, the special of Christmas here that the Oregon State Choir has brought together. It's an incredible um, arrangement that is, will actually show traditions that have come together in, in a beautiful scenario here in LaSalle Seward Center. It's the first time that KBVR TV has actually brought to you this, this wonderful rendition that KBVR could, e could ever quite wind up bringing together. Producers Andrew Everett and Jeff Curtin have 
put together a, an outstanding crew that we hope that you'll be able to sit back and enjoy and to a, an incredible, just an incredible way that you'll want to see. From the beginning, there'll be the arrangement that'll, that'll bring the Fantasia on Christmas carols. The choir will open, there'll be a darkness in the set and, and a wonderful arrangement. You'll see the candles to come in together, the quiet chant of the monks where actual Christmas seemed to wind up coming together in the, in the Gregorian way back in old Western Europe. You'll see the outstanding focuses that the brass quintet has come together and that the, the two arrangers have brought an, an incredible way of, of showing. Christmas time is going to wind up being a special time for all of us this year, especially here at KBVR TV. The traditions brought to you by, by the staff will show showed a, a way that, hey, you know exactly what winds up happening. You can actually remember, if you stop and think, of the ways that when you were younger, of how the presents would sit and you would wait for Santa Claus to wind up coming, or in any special way that you would wish to have, the, have that certain present, you'd shake them and wait for things to wind up coming to you. But hey, you knew what was around the corner. You'd listen for the reindeer to wind up waiting, staying up all night listening, just as, as you would know. There's no way that you would actually wind up getting the getting those incredible things that you'd ever want, but mom and dad would always come through for you. So tonight now the brass choir is coming on, arranging, the audience is clapping. Let's sit back and enjoy. Tonight's conductor is Hernan Constantino. We'll hear the, the festival of Alfred Burke Carols, arrangement by Holly Addis. The Oregon State Symphony Brass Choir.
Christmas Carols with by, by Robert Vaughn Williams. A rendition of the of Fantasia on Christmas Carols by with Robert Vaughn by, by Ralph Vaughn Williams, where Vaughn Williams occupies a place in history where he first created the rendition of that's unmistakably British. Tonight there will be a, a, a very special tribute played to a lot of British composers, many English composers that have brought out examples Sir, that Sir Edward William Elgar and Sir Al Albert Sullivan also bring out. Right now the uh, two accompanists that are coming on are Susan Croft on keyboard and Kristen Holley on flute. Scott Cuthbert will be the percussionist. The first piece that we'll bring out is Father's Love Begotten. By the, by the Oregon State Choir. What does he want to talk about?
as the choir now prepares for Deck the Halls, the Oregon State Symphony Orchestra, as, as well as the Oregon State Choir, wind up coming together to bring together a, a Deck the Halls that will wind up involving the audience. A piece by Fanta from Fantasia brought by Ralph Von Williams. Fantasia on Christmas carols is one of the several compositions that build particular themes. Tunes that Fantasia merely, merely means that a form of music is, a, is a, of less importance than the many other themes. This piece winds up coming together to forming the actual joining of, of, the, two, of the two choirs where we will wind up seeing that the audience can wind up participating.
Deck the Halls by from the Oregon State University Corvallis Choir and, and Oregon State University and, and Corvallis Symphony. Wonderful piece brought together that the audience actually did get to participate in. Right now we're beginning our intermission and where we'll wind up starting a package that was brought together by KBBR TV where we'll show you a little piece about the directors. Hernan Constantino, who is in his second year as the conductor of the FIDA, uh, as the Oregon State uh, Music Director. Uh, he has studied in Philadelphia and studying from the, at, there at the College of Performing Arts, where he wound up being a, the uh, concert uh, soloist, um, specifically in, in violin. Also, we have uh, Catherine Olson, who's the music director, primarily focusing on, on voice and, and special vocal talents of, of the Oregon State University. Uh, Miss Olson winds up actually one of being a, a uh, soloist that is a, a sopranoist of, uh, for the Oregon State uh, Choir. Uh, we'll wind up having that package in just a moment and then continuing on with our intermission uh, for KBVR's Christmas Family Traditions, the Corvallis Symphony Orchestra at LaSalle Stewart Center. Everyone should try to go to a Christmas concert, whether, whatever it is, whether it's a production or a play or, or a movie, or that's why we have so many different kinds of movies coming out for Christmas that are appropriate for that particular season. Uh, but uh, a concert is always, uh, of course, to express the, uh, what the season is all about. Um, people should, should come in there to expect uh, the, the the Christmas spirit, and uh, uh, not only with the sound, but also with the appearance. That we will try to to present that, not in a showy fashion, but uh, just for them to to finally look, go to a concert where it's not all you see is black and white. And and the conducting was another part of me that always kind of stirs up that I always wanted to pursue, and always found out that. Uh, there are a lot of things about it that really just uh, I enjoy so much, and I'm, I'm, I'm pursuing it a lot more than I expected. I think it was more daring as you go. Yeah, yeah, and of course you, you gain confidence by doing it, and succeeding is, is confidence. Um, and uh, leading so many people, you know, in, in my own ways as, as a leader, uh, it's 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 different from, of course, other conductors and how they would handle, handle orchestras. But uh, I'm, I get good results with the musicians that I that I work with, with the different levels of uh, there are a lot, a lot of non-professionals and some professionals and like what I said, community and, and students. But uh, I get pretty good results with them. Expressing music, uh, not only with my violin. If I could play another instrument, I would to express it in a different way. But uh, they're both different in expressing it. Um, I, I, I try to express music to the whole orchestra, and with that I hope in turn that they would express what they see on my movements and what I tell them to how they play, which in turn a collective uh, um, response of my own interpretation or expression of the, for the particular music. Same thing for my violin, I express it in my own way, but it's an immediate response to what I do. And We have more and more students trying out who've had experience at fine high school choirs. They need to have a background. They need to have been in a choir at some point and know what it means or have had voice lessons or know what it means to be a performer. Mm -hmm. um, and so everybody who is in the OSU choir has had experience. They're not just learning to be in choir for the first time. Mm -hmm. So I think experience is probably the key. And um, talent is important and we've had a lot of talented students try out with beautiful natural voices who are willing to work and develop those voices. A lot of non-music majors that participate in all of our performance organizations. Mm -hmm. They just are dedicated to music no matter what their major is and spend a great deal of time performing in the band or the orchestra or the choirs. Mm -hmm. um, this is not a traditional Christmas carol. Mm -hmm. It's very, you know, what we have decided on this program is a variety of secular and sacred holiday music. It's well, when, when we choose this music, we want a variety of music. 
from important classical repertoire to music that everyone can appreciate and not have it be uh, too heavy. And we want them to go away feeling good about the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe red bow ties or I don't know what bow tie I'll, I'll wear. I'll probably <laughs> wear something gold or, or green or whatever. So it, it's one of those things that uh, we will all try to look attractive and for the music to sound attractive as well. So, and I think everyone will enjoy the concert. Last year we had a, they enjoyed the singing the Hallelujah Chorus and probably some people felt that some, some of them missed it or some of them um, uh, missed some entrances or some notes so maybe our viewers would sing along at home <laughs> doing that. So. The OSU Corvallis Symphony or Orchestra and the OSU Choir come together tonight as KBVR brings you a family Christmas. In the, later right after our intermission, the OSU Corvallis Symphony brings us a piece by Felix Mendelssohn. Of there shall be a star from Jacob come forth from the Christus series and the last piece that we'll end up coming together where the audience can also participate will be the Hallelujah Chorus by George Frederick Handel. I think you'll really be excited to wind up seeing that. I'm Drew Warninghoff. In just a moment, we'll wind up coming back to OSU uh, Corvallis Symphony Orchestra's piece here, brought to you uh, from LaSalle Stewart Center, live on KBVR-TV. Hope you wind up staying with us. Uh, stop ba sit back, grab yourself a, a drink, uh, make, make a stop at the restroom, enjoy, come back, Enjoy in the, in the rest of our, uh, our little celebration of a family Christmas as KBVR-TV brings you a family Christmas with the OSU Corvallis Symphony and the Oregon State University Choir. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Oregon State University Corvallis Symphony and the Oregon State University Choir bring you from live at Seward Center, KBVR-TV's A Family Christmas. Right now the audience is starting to form together right after our intermission and the symphony is beginning to form together where they'll soon bring you a piece by Felix Mendelssohn uh, from Jacob Come Forth from the Christus series and last we'll wind up having a piece from the Hallelujah Chorus from the Messiah by George Frederick Handel. I think you'll really enjoy it. The choir is starting to come together and the actual principal player that you're probably wondering is a gentleman by the name of Michael Grossman. Grossman has wound up studying and has been a concert master uh, from Boston University and he studied with John Silverstein uh, for the Boston Symphony. Um, Michael Grossman winds up being the person who the director has, has direct uh, feel with of how, the symphony, of how the actual symphony is playing its piece, of the organization of the way the piece will wind up coming together. He is the principal violinist that everyone will wind up tuning off of, Michael Grossman uh, as our principal violinist. Hernan Constantino is our music director who's brought together uh, this wonderful arrangement of, of pieces that have that you can see have and hear that uh, this new a new form of music that is exclusive uh, um, in this in this piece, where the celebration of, of different uh, denominations and cultural groups have brought a, a magnific magnificent group of pieces. They're now ready to want it forming together. Let's go back down to the choir 
and the symphony now forming together for Hanan Constantino, our music director.
the OSU Corvallis Symphony Orchestra. Now the, or the Oregon State Choir starts to rejoin them as they begin their piece of There Shall Be a, uh, there st shall be a Star from Jacob Come Forth, a piece from Felix Mendelssohn. They uh, wind up playing to, uh, earlier the two pieces, The Simple, Simple Symphony by Benjamin Britten, The Boisterous Beret, The Playful Pizzicato, The Sentimental Sarabande, and The Frolicsome Finale. Now as the symphony comes on, we'll sit back and watch again.
Davis. Uh, that, that piece was the Fantasia on Green Sleeves by Ralph, Ralph Vaughn Williams. Now the OSU choir winds up coming on. The principal flutist at that particular time was, was Kristen Holley and the harpist Michelle Gillerand. The uh, Oregon State University uh, music director is Hernan Constantino. He brings on his brass quintet, which we heard earlier today. And now the entire, the entire symphony and orchestra comes and brings us the full, the full body of what they will wind up bringing for us. The Oregon State University comes together with KBVR TV and a family Christmas. We'll wind up seeing how they can pre present it for us. This now is from a star from Jacob Come Forth by Felix Mendelssohn from the Krista series. Uh, as well, we will end up having the Hallelujah Chorus by George Frederick Handel, where the entire symphony, where everyone will come together and bring us the final finale that we've all been waiting for. Perhaps we'll wind up seeing what happens. Sit back and let's watch.
house lights uh, turned up so you could read the manuscript that was uh, given earlier. Can we have the house lights up, please? Can we all stand? Yes. Some of you who, uh, who were here last year, you know what to expect. Some of you who are first time, well, the only thing to do is, is to read your music again, to watch my stick. Make sure you, you, you read up like this instead of down. And for the people on the balcony, the sound will be traveling a little bit later over there, so try to anticipate the entrances. <laughs> the orchestra has a three-bar introduction, and then just sing out and uh, have fun. Uh, we'd like to thank you again for coming uh, and sharing this uh, wonderful evening with us, and uh, we wish you the best for the holidays.
encore will be presented by the Oregon State University Choir and the, and the Oregon State Corvallis Symphony, presented by Hernan Constantino and Catherine Olson. Right now we're seeing Timothy Brimmer, who is the, the faculty, part of the music department, and who is our soloist this evening. They will be presenting an encore, as far as we know. Live from the Cell Stewart Center, KBVR has presented a family Christmas. Right now, staying in that same tradition, we'll wind up showing to you from Twas the Night Before Christmas. Wayne Basden brings to us to you in that particular light. Let's go to that. Merry Christmas. I'm Wayne Basden, an instructor here at Oregon State University in the Broadcast Media Department. Tonight, I'm going to be reading you the story, The Night Before Christmas by Clemeth C. Moore, illustrations by Scott Gustafson. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief, and I and my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my unwandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his curses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dancer, now Dasher, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the rooftops, the cruisers they flew with a sled full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turned around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was all dressed in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his nipples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was all drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a bold face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed, <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. He was chumpy and plump and a rowdy jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head gave me soon to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. 
and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to a team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him acclaim as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, good night. Thank you, Wayne Bainston. Right now, we'll end up having our video Christmas card brought to you by the variety of shows that KBBR TV has put together. We'll show you some examples of that and saying Merry Christmas to you and, and, and for having, having with us on this particular evening at LaSalle Stewart Center. Let's show that. Thompson along with Carla Walker and the rest of the Evening Edition crew. And we're all here to wish you a safe and happy holiday. Merry Christmas! Brian Bushlack from Oregon Diary. I'd like to extend season's greetings to your family from our family and staff and crew and everybody at Oregon Diary. Happy holidays! We're canceled, by the way. PVR <laughs> TV has presented a family Christmas with the Corvallis OSU Symphony Orchestra and the Oregon State Choir. KBVR TV is a student-run station provi providing programs that wi wind up showing specifically what the Oregon State University broadcasting students can do. I'm Drew Warninghoff, and I've been your host for this evening. Perhaps next year we'll wind up coming again and showing a family Christmas. We thank you, and we thank you once again. We'll now show you some of the highlights of, from, from tonight's evening. Have a good evening.